My name is Helen Rowe, and I'm the director of Parsons Field Institute at the McDowell Sonoran Conservancy. The McDowell Sonoran Conservancy is an organization that's been around for 27 years, and the mission is to advance and preserve natural open space through science, education, and stewardship. The Parsons Field Institute is the center of research at the McDowell Sonoran Conservancy. And so that's my responsibility is for having the vision for the different research projects that we undertake and uh, looking um, to make sure that those go smoothly and undertaking those. And uh, we work through research partnerships and through citizen science. So we work with uh, citizen scientists uh, in all of our projects. And we find that citizen scientists not only um, help us get our work done, but they also help us in a number of different ways in thinking of new ideas. And we have some that come from different backgrounds that really um, help us. So we have people who train themselves in GIS, and we have people who are from business backgrounds and are really great at organizing. And people can come and they can uh, work with crowdsourcing, or they can really get involved. And so we try to have projects that support uh, all different kinds of citizen science along that spectrum. Uh, Biocrust is an integral part of our natural areas. It keeps the soils uh, secure and uh, helps prevent erosion and it has important um, nutrient cycling benefits as well. And so when we restore a uh, degraded, disturbed area, we want to make sure we not only uh, help the plants come back, but we also want to have the biocrust come back. And so the, the biocrust that we have here, we salvaged from a couple of trailheads that were going in. And so those were going to get disturbed anyway. So we went and we salvaged those and we stored them in buckets until we were ready for them and we sieved them. And here we've got some different treatments we're looking at. And um, we're looking, we're going to have a hoop house here that's going to be a shaded area. And then we're going to have a flat um, area that also gets shaded but with a shade cloth directly on it. So we're looking at the different treatments underneath. Do we need to have jute or not jute? Do we need to have sand or soil underneath the biocrust? Which one works better? At the end of these grow outs, what we'll do is we'll take these plus our uh, salvage soil that we didn't cultivate and we'll take that out to uh, some disturbed sites that will be our, our field sites uh, for this experiment and we'll see uh, how well then those different treatments do out in the fields. There isn't a lot of work being done um, in the Sonoran Desert on biocrust uh, restoration. So this is a great example of we're looking at different treatments and so hopefully we'll be able to find um, some of the, the ways that work better and then um, when there's uh, chances yeah. to salvage biocrust and put it back on we'll be able to share these ideas and so um, even if we're working in one small area, those uh, research results are directly tied to management and can really help um, oh managers God, across man. Arizona and beyond um, to inform the, the work that they're doing, and that's really our goal.